I know that this goes beyond me letting my school down, but I let the entire country down. To President Trump and the United States government, thank you for taking the time to intervene on our behalf. I'm a young man, however, it's not an excuse for making a really stupid decision. I have the utmost respect for the Chinese police department as well, and I'd like to thank them for treating me so respectfully, even after I made a stupid decision. Well, I would like to apologize to uh, all the fans who support you so late, because I feel like my actions have hurt them the most. It hurts me because I can see the pain that I'm causing. Sorry for shoplifting. What I did was stupid. There's just no other way to put it. As a coach, you recruit these young men for a long time, and you get to know them very, very well during the process. These are good young men who have exercised an inexcusable lapse, lapse of judgment. These three young men will remain suspended indefinitely from our program. On Monday, November 6th, first full day of the trip, the students were given 90 minutes of free time, if you will, to explore the town of Hangzhou or simply to relax. It was at that time that they took the items from three of those stores without paying for them. The following morning, November 7th, the police arrived at the team hotel and began to interview several members of the Georgia Tech team and the UCLA basketball team as they attempted to identify which students were involved in the thefts. Within a few hours, they identified Jello, Jalen, and Cody as the likely suspects and escorted them to a local police station. The total bail amount was approximately $2,200 U.S. dollars. As part of the conditions of the release, the students had to surrender their passports and agree to travel restrictions. They were not required to remain in the hotel, though we made that decision out of abundance of caution and respect for the process. While the charges with the students were ultimately withdrawn, Jalen, Cody, and Jello, of course, did admit to breaking the law. As Steve noted, the three student athletes have been suspended indefinitely from the men's basketball program as we continue to review the matter.